I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. Do you all think that you're persuading people when you shout out like that? I beg your pardon? You don't trust me? Okay. I, I, you know, I, I don't know what else I can do. I don't know what else I can do. If you, if you want me to go home, okay. Hello, I'm Senator Claire McCaskill. As one of just 20 women currently serving in the Senate, it's important to me to encourage more women to run for office. But equally important is encouraging more men to sometimes just shut the hell up. It's not that women don't value your thoughts, it's just that we don't value all of them. The world doesn't need your opinion on everything. For example, what women do with their bodies. Hush. Who the next James Bond should be. Zip it. Whether or not it's pronounced gif or jif. Shut up! So as a public service, I made the following list of things women no longer need to hear men's opinions on. Please take a moment to jot these down. Star Wars, pantsuits, selfies, Shonda Rhimes, curtains, carbs, millennials, body hair removal, religion, gluten, Harry Potter, nut allergy, Star Wars again, all art in general, whether or not to brine the Thanksgiving turkey, and ethics in gaming journalism. If you can control yourselves and hold back from further expressing your opinions on any of these topics, we'll let you keep weighing in on marijuana legalization. But that's a huge, big if. Thanks so much. You know, that's one thing that the United States has that nobody else has is the freedom to fly around and, and be affordable to where a normal person can afford it. You know? and, uh, well, you remind that when they come after me about my husband's plane, <laughs> that normal people can afford it. <laughs> um, yeah. Hello, my name is Lily Esposito, and I am here with my mom, Senator Claire McCaskill, and we will be talking about her book, Plenty Ladylike. This is scary. You better be scared. Really? Yes. I've never been interviewed by a child on camera before. Well, I wouldn't call myself a child, but... Sorry. <laughs> Young women. <laughs> well, you're my child. <laughs> you're always my child. Very true. Um, the first question I have for you today is, what is something that every young woman should own? Oh, their ambition. They should own their yeah, ambition. I thought you were going to say something material. No, little... that's what this is about. I mean, this is about, I think too many women are afraid to own their ambition. They're afraid that it makes them unladylike or too aggressive or unattractive to men, worst of all. So what this book is about is about making sure young women realize that being strategic and ambitious is in fact plenty ladylike. So I want them to own their ambition. Uh, what's the best dating advice you've ever been told? Relationship dating advice. Never dumb down. Strong, smart women sometimes are tempted to bite their tongues and not correct a man, uh, not be smarter than the man. They're worried that somehow they will scare a man away mm -hmm. if they show their intellect and they actually don't show their intellect. They like dumb down for a guy. I think that is a really bad idea because in the long run, it will spell disaster in a relationship. If a man is not strong enough um, to take you as you are with all of your strengths, then it's gonna have a bad ending. So never dumb down. What is something that you're really proud of that does not get acknowledged as much as you like? My yeah. kids, my kids. Um, all three of my children, <laughs> Austin and Maddie and Lily, you guys are amazing human beings. I have three amazing children and you guys don't get the attention you deserve because you're way more important than any of the accomplishments in terms of winning elections. You're wonderful human beings. That's true. Okay. Thank you, Mom. I think you're wonderful. And you're too. plenty ladylike. <laughs> Between now and the first Tuesday in November, on that Tuesday night, it'll be late. Don't panic early. <laughs> Outstate Missouri will come in first, but late. Somebody